PrepareForChange.net, and Cobra Interview 2016. Malawi Update Inek has sent me pictures of 8-year-old George Andrew and his siblings, Esther, Lucia and Daniel, they range in age from 5 to 10 years old. These four children lost both of their parents due to malaria. Now the children live with their young auntie. Their house, like all the village houses is made of the adobe bricks which are made of dirt and water then dried in the sun. They sleep on the dirt floor, no beds. They are happy to have a blanket and that too is usually shared. There is no indoor plumbing, no kitchen, cooking is done outdoors with the neighboring villagers. It is because of the goodwill and generosity of our Prepare for Change family that Inik was able to give this family a 50 kilo bag of maize. This will last about one week. We are really making a difference with these people's lives. If it weren't for you, our listeners that have opened your hearts and your wallets for this village in Malawi, Africa, there would be more people dying of starvation. Another area where we have made a difference this month is that we have sent money to buy mosquito nets for the orphanage children. The children sleep under the mosquito nets to protect them from the mosquitoes that carry malaria. Inuk has just delivered the mosquito nets and will be sending me pictures of the children with their nets. Of course, I will share the pictures with you. We are creating a place on our website where you will eventually be able to see those who you are helping. Be sure to watch for the upcoming Smiley 7 YouTube channel video of this month's Cobra interview which will begin with pictures from Malawi. My dear friends and contributors to this Feed Malawi project, please include your email address when you send money for Malawi so that I can thank you for your heartfelt effort. I don't spend money on stamps because Malawi needs all the help they can get right now. When our foundation is funded, Malawi will be the first recipient of much-needed aid in order to create a community that can thrive. Please continue to help me, so that I can help them. Please send your checks to, 4530 Whittier Boulevard Los Angeles California 90022. Please indicate on your check whether it is for Malawi or for Prepare for Change, PFC. I thank you with all my heart for your generosity www.prepareforchange.net is happy to bring you this Cobra update, November 2016. Lynn, welcome back Cobra to our monthly Intel update. Today is Tuesday, November 8, voting day for the United States. We have seen much activity on both sides since the last update. The big money corporations have been constantly bombarding us at every opportunity with commercials to entice us into voting in their targeted issue or telling us why something is bad for us, whether it is the truth or not. I hope everyone has read up on the propositions and voted their conscience. We don't know at this point what people are going to take the top spots but, one thing is for sure, we the people are waking up and we will win. Victory to the light. The one thing we can do is to remain self-assured, calm and peaceful. The best way we can do this is with focused meditation. We have a great opportunity now to manifest our peaceful nature. Today we will start our questions with our weekly ascension meditation and general meditation questions. Lynn, Cobra, the first question is, can you explain why the transition was from weekly event meditation to the weekly ascension meditation? What is the difference? Cobra, okay. The transition was made because the situation has improved to the point such change became necessary because our focus at this point is not only the event, not only the breakthrough but also the final goal which is the ascension. With this meditation we are speeding up this whole process since the vibrational frequency of the planet is high enough to make this possible. Awesome, that sounds great to me, Richard, Cobra, so. As an alternative for those that cannot meditate at the time of 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, this reader has a suggestion for the weekly meditation. Can we each do the meditation each day and set the intention that, for example, my meditation takes effect on the coming Sunday at 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time? Wouldn't this multiply the effect seven times, if we meditate every day with this intention? Cobra it would not multiply the effect seven times but yes it would help, 
so for those who cannot make it at 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time on Sunday this is a good suggestion. Thank you, Lynn. This questioner has been noticing many forms of the weekly ascension meditation. Cobra, can you tell us what is the most important elements to include in the group meditation that we do together on Sundays? Would it include the pink egg or the goddess spiral? What is important when you're we're making a recording? Cobra, okay. The official version of the weekly ascension meditation is on my blog on the right hand side. You can click on this picture with the group hug and you will get instructions there. Written and also there is a video being made. The video was made in many languages and basic version does not include the pink egg or the goddess spiral because it needs to be spread to as many people as possible, but those that think it should include the pink egg or the goddess spiral of course they are very much welcome to do so. Thank you, Richard, Cobra can to speak a little about the purpose of prayer and meditation and how it affects us, others and the universe? Cobra, the purpose of meditation is always to connect with your own soul with your higher self and the presence of soul brings more light and higher vibrations into the situations on the planet by itself. So it is always, if a critical mass of people are meditating they are actually stabilizing the positive timelines and hundreds of thousands of people meditating each day they have actually ensured that this planet has not been destroyed until now. Richard, and the purpose of prayer? Cobra, the purpose of prayer is to connect with your source to communicate with your source of creation, with the source and this is one of many ways how we can connect with source. Thank you, Richard. And how does that affect the universe and how does that affect others? Cobra, actually it creates a channel between the physical plane and higher dimensional planes and this channel allows the light forces to intervene more. But more than just a general prayer what is much more effective is a focused intent meditation at a specific point in space and time and this can increase the efficiency of that meditation many, many times. Thank you, Richard. Can you give an example of that? Cobra, the weekly ascension meditation is one of the examples of that. Thank you, general meditation questions, Lynn, Cobra, the next questions are about general meditation. This person writes, in our synchronized meditations, our Trisphere group is strongly feeling the presence and assistance of the light forces. I am feeling the Archons present to one degree or another particularly in the last three weeks while preparing to meditate or during meditation. At this time clairvoyant vision has ceased. Do you believe that these two, issues, are related to Archon interference? Cobra, basically what is happening in the last few weeks again is an increase in activity of the Archon forces and I would say, on the plasma plane etheric plane and to a certain degree on the astral plane and that interferes with meditation also to a certain degree. This situation will be slowly reversed as we progress towards December. Thank you, Richard. Do high density beings meditate also? Cobra, yes. Richard, what is their purpose of meditation? Is it the same as ours? Cobra, the same, yes. Richard, is there a simple meditation that you can give for everyone? Cobra, I would not do that because I think it's best for everybody to find the best optimal technique according to her or his own energy structure and his own or her own state of development. Okay, thank you, Lynn. Cobra, is grounding a must for meditation? Cobra, the key here is balance and the balance is created by devoting some time in your day to physical activities and devote some time to spiritual activities and this is the key which can actually speed your evolution. Not to go into extremes. Thank you, Richard. This reader says, I have problem in balancing my nervous system and my sympathetic nervous system tends to dominate causing it to be hard to enter a meditative state. What can I do about this? Cobra. Okay. Probably this is happening for a few reasons, one of them is the excessive stress and the other one is suppressed emotions which are coming to the surface. If you minimize the stress, for example by spending some time in nature and acknowledging the suppressed issues coming to the surface, this will tend to balance itself. Thank you, Lynn. Instead of silencing your mind when meditating, is it equally effective to contemplate a certain picture when meditating? Cobra, yes, 
This is simply another approach to meditation. Thank you, Richard. Can a person meditate when tired or when their vibration has fallen low or they are lacking in concentration? Will meditating in this kind of state render negative effects on other members of the Trisphere meditation group? Cobra, no, actually if you're tired you can spend some time simply relaxing and not having a focus concentrating on the grid meditation, and then proceed with your usual technique and that can have positive effects. Thank you very much, Lynn. This person writes, For a few years, I have been seeing spiral rainbow light from a whitish hole in my vision when I closed my eyes, followed by a lot of dense electric blue cycles appearing and patterns which vary each time. If I concentrate for a few minutes, it can heal the disorder and pain in my body. It looks like the goddess vortex of the meditation video clip in YouTube. Is that what I saw related to the goddess vortex? Cobra, yes. Actually you are experiencing a goddess vortex itself entering into your consciousness and this is a very good sign. Great, Richard, are there anything suggestions what she can do to make it stronger? Or just continue what she's doing already? Cobra, just continue. Thank you, Richard, Cobra. This writer says, I find things can manifest quite a long time after visualization. Is there a reason behind the long delay? Cobra. Yes, of course, the reason being the physical plane which is quite dense and it takes, it has a long reaction time to the manifestation impulse. Richard, so if they were to manifest or think about what they want, visualize what they want more often wouldn't make it happen faster? Cobra, maybe a little much but not much. The idea here is just continue whatever you're doing and focus on the vision and just understand on the physical plane it takes some time to manifest. I understand, thank you, Lynn, is meditating useful in bustling circumstances, like in a train or when taking a walk? Can it be as effective as in an undisturbed situation? Cobra, it can be useful if you are able to not be distracted by those circumstances. Thank you, Richard, Cobra. Given that there is so much activity on the moon, and that it is said that the moon is an artificial satellite with many bases on the far side of the moon, does it make sense to meditate according to the moon cycles? Cobra, okay. I would not agree with the statement that the moon is an artificial object. Okay, and I would say, yes, of course because the moon is one of the major, I would say, one of the most important bodies in the solar system which actually acts as a lens for powerful goddess energy. Aligning with the moon cycles will get you in touch with the goddess energy. Richard, you don't agree with that statement, so what would you say that the moon is? I've heard that it is artificial. There's no sign that it is alive from what scientists are saying. Cobra, so what is your questions? Richard, is it artificial or is it natural? Cobra. No it is not. No, it is not, it is a natural satellite with a lot of, I would say life forms and artificial technology there but the moon itself is a natural object. Thank you very much. Lynn, this questioner writes, I have focused my mental energies to protect our group meditations for the last couple of months. I first felt the energies of the group unifying and I felt the warmth in the back of my skull that I feel when I send out positive energies. But when I focused my energies on not allowing the dark draconian reptilian energies to interfere, I felt the connection break immediately and almost painfully leaving me disturbed and slightly dazed for a few hours. I am interested to know what is the best method for protecting the group meditations? Cobra. The best method is simply to focus upon the purpose of that meditation and doing it with that purpose in mind and not being distracted by other things such as archons. Good advice, so it is only appropriate here to speak about weekly ascension meditation. We as a global community stop whatever we are doing every Sunday at 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time to join with our brothers and sisters around the world to intend to bring about peace in our world with full disclosure to join our galactic family. If you are not yet meditating with us on Sunday, I invite you to join us. You can find the correct meditation time in your country by checking here. 
http colon slash slash www.worldtimeserver.com slash convert underscore time underscore in underscore utc dot asks, Richard, we're going to go into liberation progress update. Was October a better month for the light forces as far as the liberation process? Better compared to? Compared to September? Cobra, yes, of course. Richard, are there any updates you can give us on that? Cobra, not at the moment. The updates, we have received instructions not to give any updates about the planetary situation until this elections business is over and then I will give more updates which will include the planetary situation and situation on the progress on the light forces. Excellent, can't wait, thank you. Lynn. Cobra can you tell us anything about the ongoing war of taking down the Chimera? Cobra, the same as with the previous question, at this point. Lynn, okay, and how about the status of Yoldabeth? Cobra, I can say a little bit about that. Basically the light forces are working on cutting the tentacules of that entity from its head and there is some progress being made. Thank you, Richard. What is the situation with the cracks in the veil? Are there more openings or about the same? Cobra, the situation is still not improving much but there are plans to introduce certain things after I would say, mid-November. Great, that you, Lynn, can you give us an update regarding the geopolitical situation? Cobra, okay. I would put it this way. Regardless of who wins the elections, the light forces will continue to make progress regarding the removal of the cabal and more progress in this area will be felt and sensed since mid-November. Thank you, Richard, Cobra can provide any updates regarding the exopolitical situation? Cobra, okay, again this is a very sensitive subject at the moment and I will, after this election situation is over, I will provide some updates in my blog. Great, thank you, Lynn. Okay. This is the last update. This person wants to know about the subterranean situation? Is there anything you can say about that? Cobra, yes, the resistance movement is preparing for certain actions again as I have mentioned before, after the November 15th. Okay, Richard, Cobra, are all of the 144,000 fully activated at this time or? Cobra, no, no. They will become full active after the event. Got it, thank you, Lynn, Cobra, can you give us a ballpark figure of where we stand on our journey towards the event? Cobra, I would say that we have, okay I would say. It's hard to give you an exact number for many reasons, but I would say we are getting closer and closer. I cannot give a definite answer to this question for obvious reasons. I understand. Thank you, Richard. Cobra, are our currencies gold backed now? Cobra, no. Thank you, Lynn, okay. Are the boots on the ground doing what needs to be done at this time? Are people waking up and are they taking some kind of action to change things? Cobra, I would say that the basic actions that need to be taken are being taken and all this situation with the elections will serve as a catalyst for further awakening and this is actually quite good. But I would say that the real action is not there, we're not there yet, we're not there yet at that point. Got it, Richard, Cobra, what are your thoughts on the grand acclamation made by Swiss Indo on October 16th? Cobra, okay. I know there are very, many rumors about Swiss Indo, but my sources cannot absolutely confirm that what those claims represent are true. Thank you, Lynn. This has been an eventful month with Ycolex revelations coming out daily. Each day getting deeper and deeper into the corruption that has been perpetrated upon us. Cobra, is there anything you can tell us as to the effectiveness of these revelations? Are they helping? Cobra, I would say, yes, I would say that those revelations are exposing one little aspect of cabal structure and they actually serve as a good catalyst for awakening which will happen much later. That will happen much later when we are much closer to the event. It is laying a good groundwork, a solid foundation for later actions. So although we might not see any effects of this, long-term results of this will be much more spectacular. Great, great. Richard, Cobra, 
Is there anything you can tell us about Julian Assange? Some people want to know if he is actually working with the light forces. Cobra, yes. Thank you, Lynn, okay. I have a couple of questions about the financial area. Cobra, can you give us an update on the global financial situation? And is it the same around the world? Cobra, okay, the old system is in a state of slow collapse but all those rumors about the reset, re-evaluation, all this, when those things happen you will see it, you will experience it quite directly. I would not focus too much on those rumors. Just do whatever you can do for the planetary liberation and you can also use some of your energy to manifest abundance in your own life, not rumors by utilizing the principles of manifestation. Very good advice, Lynn, I have people wanting to know if there's any possibility especially for humanitarian funds to be released before 2017? Is that a possibility? Cobra, it is an extremely remote possibility. Richard, Cobra. Can you speak about the role of gold and silver both before the event and after the event? Cobra, okay. Before the event, I would say there is a process of putting the world's financial system partially on the gold standard and this will shift it away from manipulations from the possibilities of manipulation that the cabal is exploiting in the last, I would say 60-70 years quite effectively. After the event. The role of gold and silver will diminish simply because there will be advanced technologies introduced which will allow people to materialize gold and silver directly from the etheric substance with replicators. Gotcha, gold and silver will retain their spiritual and symbolic value but they will not be seen as tools to manifest abundance. They will not be any more mediums of exchange because real spiritual value of a reincarnated soul will determine that will become the basis of the new system which will be slowly developed after the event and towards the first contact. And especially after the first contact. I understand, thank you very much. Lynn, now we're going to switch subjects to music. Is there music as we know it on other planets? Cobra, yes, there is music. It is usually more melodic and it is more like music as it was thousands of years ago on this planet and not what we know as modern music in the last few decades except a few exceptions. Richard, okay. Cobra we learn music theory here on earth, such as the circle of fifths and how keys, such as key of C or B flat are put together. How does the music on earth differentiate from the music on other planets? Cobra, okay. The basic principles are the same but the wording and exact descriptions of those principles can vary from planet to planet but some basic resonances remain the same. Richard, so it could sound like music that we are familiar with like you said a thousand years ago, but it's put together differently. Cobra, it could, it could. Okay. Thank you, Lynn, is the music theory that we learn a realistic representation of music? Or is it simply our way of perceiving how music is created? Is the perception of music elsewhere similar to how humans perceive music? Cobra, it depends on what you define as elsewhere. People who are humanoid, races who are human-like tend to perceive music in a similar way because their earlobe and their hearing apparatus tends to perceive the same, I would say roughly the same perception of sound. There are many races that have different structures and their frequencies of sound. On higher spiritual planes are richer, deeper and more profound. Wow! And it encompasses more of the spectrum than this narrow band of frequencies that we experience on the physical plane. That's awesome, thank you, Richard, Cobra, are there common ritual dances on other planets? Cobra, they dance but it's not as formalized as it usually on this planet especially the last few centuries. Because the controlling forces have been using dance, actually they have been formalizing dance in order to control human population. In the past dance was much less formalized and much more spontaneous. Okay, Richard, the next questions are about chakras. There are claims out there that people can remove their chakras. Is this even possible, and what are the ramifications of doing so? Cobra. Okay, I would ask people to use their common sense and not to attempt to remove chakras. First, they cannot do it and second, 
if they attempt to do it will just disrupt the energy flow in their energy bodies. It would be the same as attempting to remove an organ of your physical body claiming that it would improve your situation. Chakras are there for a reason. Thank you so much, thank you, Lynn. What can you tell us about human astral and etheric bodies? Cobra, okay. Human etheric and astral bodies are I would say that the etheric body is our energy body which sustains us with energy and our astral body is our body to which we express and experience our emotions and both are very much needed and necessary for our spiritual and also personal development. Lynn, and this questioner wants to know, if in humans if these bodes are underdeveloped? Cobra, I would not say underdeveloped but I would say were developed under extreme pressure so they did not grow in the way that would be optimal for human development especially because of all control and all the negative technologies that human beings have been exposed to. Okay, Richard, Cobra, how do the astral and etheric bodies compare to the soul? Cobra, the astral and etheric bodies are part of the fourth dimension, soul begins at the sixth dimension. Thank you very much, Lynn. Asperger's syndrome is sometimes described as a mild form of autism. In the past, Asperger's syndrome was very rare, or people were not labeled with this. Why has this syndrome come along now? Is Asperger's syndrome a disease in a person's astral, etheric or plasma body? Cobra, this has increased simply because the archons have increased the use of their negative technology such as biochips such as implants, scalar technologies and all of these have created the trauma in higher energy bodies and Asperger's syndrome is just the outer manifestation of that trauma. Lynn, do you see that Asperger's and autism can be healed after the event? Cobra, yes, of course. Thank you, Richard, Cobra, is Alcoholics Anonymous an extension of the cabal? Cobra, no. Thank you, Lynn. Who invented the original template of the human body. Was it programmed to persist across densities? Cobra, it was a development of very high developed creator beings which had a mission to develop life in the physical form in order to transform the primary anomaly. Lynn, is the prime template the same across the universe? Cobra, yes. Thank you, Richard, how much of the template has been distorted through genetic experimentations? Cobra, I would say quite a lot. It could be said around 50%. Wow, thank you, Lynn. Now we have a couple of questions on implants. A Scandinavian gentleman commented on your blog that he ended up with twice as many implants as before. How does one prevent the dark from reinserting the implants that have been removed? Cobra, okay. First, People are claiming to receive implants or claiming to have implants removed when in many cases that is not happening. I say people need to double check that this is happening or is it their own interpretation of what is happening. Because the number of implants number one is not that big, and number two they are very difficult to remove. And if somebody would remove the implant that would have drastic impact on the personal situation of that person. Great, thank you, Richard. Cobra, in one of your blog posts you mentioned that implants of certain light workers contain toplet slash strange alert bombs. Is this something still happening and how can we detect them? Cobra, this has been resolved. This has been resolved. Great, thank you so much, Lynn, okay. I have a question on energy, as we are all victims of electronic harassment, can you describe how this can be removed post-event? Will it occur automatically as a reversal in the field or will we have to follow some protocol to become normal again? Cobra, actually it will be both. Much of it will be removed automatically or I would not say automatically, it will be removed by the activities intense work of the light forces and part of it will require active participation of people. Thank you, our small prepare for change leadership council is growing. I would like to introduce to you our coordinator of volunteers, Bruce. He invites you to communicate with him if you would like to join our volunteer team at Prepare for Change. He will be receiving your volunteer requests and helping you join a team that interests you. There is always work to do. You can contact Bruce by email at brucek at prepareforchange.net. Richard, the next section is about new technologies. 
So Cobra, the next section is on new technologies. Cobra, are you familiar with Dr. Grigorij Grabovoy, the Russian scientist who can heal people from disease and manifest things? Cobra, yes, I'm aware of that person. Richard, can you tell us how he does this, and if it's real and whatever you know about him? Cobra, actually what he's doing he's teaching one aspect of manifestation process. By utilizing manifestation process in his interaction with people he can get results. Richard, is he working on the positive side or is he not? Cobra, yes, he's working on the positive side. Great, thank you, link to his website here, http colon slash 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 ang slash, Lin, are the new cordless iPhone with Bluetooth? Wi-Fi earphones meant to control people via messages sent through the earbuds. Cobra, yes, this is one way they can actually operate. I would say that most of the cell phones are actually used as a tool for the cabal to control human beings. Wow, Richard, Cobra are there any other new technologies that are damaging to humans? Cobra, the most damaging technologies that I would mention again are the cell phones and of course the scalar wave technologies which are still quite. They are still quite present on the surface of the planet. Richard, is there anything you recommend for us to counteract these technologies? Other than not having them. Cobra, okay, I was speaking about that before. There are some protocols that can help to a certain degree and there are technologies being developed by the light forces that might be presented through my blog in the near future that will be quite effective against scalar plasma technologies, thank you very much, Lynn, Cobra, is this ongoing damage that we get from continual use, will this be able to be reversed? Cobra, yes, of course. Lynn, how can we develop the technology now to regenerate the soil? Cobra. There are a few things that need to be done. One of them needs to remove the toxins from the soil as much as possible and there are some protocols for that that you could find on the internet and the other thing that you can do or can be done is to use, I would say, positive or gone, positive etheric technologies to create resonance fields in the soil to infuse positive etheric light into the soil and that will help a lot with that situation. Thank you, Richard, Cobra. How will the soil be regenerated after the event? Cobra, the light forces will use very advanced technologies to rejuvenate the soil. Nice, Richard, Cobra, what is it about the soil or garden processes underground or in outer space that makes crops grow so large and nutrient dense? Cobra, it is simply the love that those beings give to the soil and positive energy and this makes of course the soil much more. I would say the whole process is then more effective than it is on planet Earth when most people approach this from strictly physical or profit perspective. I understand, thank you, Lynn, Cobra, what form of water is the safest and most healing? Cobra, life water from natural springs is the best. Richard, does the Sindamani stone change with use? If so, what changes occur? Cobra, no, it does not change with use. Okay, Lynn, certain crystals are heated in the sun while others do not. Why? Cobra, it's simply because of their thermal conductivity. Some crystals have this value higher and some of them have it lower. Richard, Cobra, is plastic an invention of the Archons? Cobra, no. Thank you, Lynn, is it possible to override the effects of Archon implants? the veil and other dark force technology by asking for assistance from light forces thereby giving them permission to intervene on our behalf without triggering negative consequences such as detonation of strange elet bombs? Cobra, yes, that's a very good idea. Richard, would it actually make any difference if you did not believe that these things could affect you, these negative implants or technologies, like consciously you just don't believe it affects you? Would that make any difference in the effect? Cobra, not much. Thank you, Lynn. Can thought transform plasma into physical matter? Cobra, actually one aspect of plasma is already in the physical matter and yes very focused thought can influence that process. Lynn, can thought determine how atomic subparticles combine thus creating chemical compounds from nothing? Cobra, 
I would not say from nothing, but I would say yes, thoughts can rearrange atoms in chemical compounds. It is possible. Richard, Cobra, is dark matter zero-point potentiality that has not manifested physically in the current universe? Cobra, actually dark matter is special form of matter which is located between the plasma and the physical plane. It is simply another particle which does not interact strongly with regular matter and is actually necessary for manifestation for I would say plasma and d substance into the physical plane. Thank you, Lynn, Cobra. According to latest research, scientists predict a mini ice age in around 15 years time which would lead to the solar activity dropping by 60%. Is this so or will the RM be able to prevent these temperature imbalances and extremes from happening? Cobra, actually the light forces will minimize the effects of this mini ice age. They will not completely erase them but they will counterbalance them with their light technologies. Lynn, can you take about these technologies and how can the surface population help with this? Cobra. These are advanced technologies which are actually positioning of motherships in certain positions around the earth and activating and balancing the ley lines. What the surface population can do is to use their own way to heal and balance the ley lines. One example of this is putting Sindamani stones on ley line vortex points, what many people are already doing very effectively in the last few years. Good, Richard, Cobra. What is a secure alternative to Google that we can use to ensure we aren't being infiltrated by the cabal? Cobra, okay. There are a few browsers which are much safer but they are much slower as far as I know. And also they are not 100% secure. Richard, okay. Could you give us an example of one or name one? Cobra, I don't have an example right now. If you ask me next time I will find one that is more convenient. There are some that are much safer than Google but they are quite inconvenient and slow. Okay, thank you, Lynn, Cobra. Okay. This question involves ships. During the summer of 1987, on each evening of June, July and August, I saw 15 brilliant white lights, pulsating pyramid-shaped starcrafts. They would put on a show for me in the sky. I also sensed that the crafts are alive. Telepathically, I was told that when they return I will be working with them. Only two other people that I know have seen these crafts. Who are they and where do they come from? Cobra, they were the Pleiadians and yes they will contact you again after the event. Thank you, Richard, Cobra, these questions are about the event. Are we secure in knowing that the event will be smooth and successful yet? Cobra, yes. The event will be successful and quite peaceful because most of the obstacles towards the event have already been removed. Great, thank you, Lynn. What locations are the safest and secure? Is there such a thing? Cobra, okay. I would say that the Asian countries are more stable and more secure than the Western world at this point, but I would say also that if you use your own guidance you will find the best place for yourself. Richard. Is it still true they say a lot of people are getting the message that they should be 100 miles from the ocean? Cobra, it is not necessary. Great, thank you very much, Richard. How will the sun change at the time of the event? Will we see a difference from Earth? Cobra, the sun will still stay the same but there might be some coronal mass ejections from the sun and some of them might become visible but I'm not guaranteeing that. Thank you, Lynn. You have said that duality will end after the event. But duality is just a product of the mind, it is not real. It is simply a way of viewing the world. It is our attachment to duality and the belief that it is real that is the source of our problems and of our unenlightenment. If we are going to keep our minds, how exactly would duality be eliminated and why should such a thing be necessary? Cobra, okay. I do not agree with the basic premise of this question so I cannot answer this question in a way that would satisfy the questioner. Duality is not a product of the mind. It is an objective interaction between the source and the primary anomaly. And when this, I would say, the harshest aspects of duality are removed, this will free us for higher spiritual evolution. Got it, thank you, Richard, Cobra. 
Will the physical aspect of the galactic pulse reach us at a set date or can it be delayed? Cobra, again, the exact moment of the galactic pulse is a result of interaction of our consciousness with the galactic consciousness and the date has not been set yet. Richard, it's sort of still waiting for us to reach the point when we're ready for it. Cobra, it has not reached the planet as you can obviously see. Yes, and outside a certain area of the solar system, the physical wave is traveling with superluminal speeds. It does not travel with the speed of light but with much greater speed. Our website bills continue, so I ask your assistance for http colon slash slash prepareforchange.net slash your contribution shows that you like our content and continuing efforts to upgrade our site. Please use the donate button on the right hand side of the website or use the postal address in our transcript. Be sure to note that this donation is for Prepare for Change, PFC. Please send your check to, 4530 Whittier Boulevard Los Angeles California 90022, Lynn, these next two questions are on the plasma and the veil. What are people seeing in the skies, who are reporting angels? Or other plasma forms? Is this a result of cracks in the veil? Cobra, angels are not plasma. They're not a plasma phenomenon. Angles are very advanced beings and yes because of the cracks in the veil angelic presences have been greatly increased especially in the last one half year, and this will increase even more. Thank you, Richard, can you tell us what they are doing to helping us? Or make the changes? Cobra, they are increasing the present of light in the quarantine and they are assisting us in our evolution towards the light. And they are of course also assisting in the planetary liberation process. Amazing, thank you, Richard, Cobra, did the source intend for duality or the quantum anomaly to happen in this cosmic cycle? Cobra, no. Thank you, it did not intend for the cosmic anomaly to happen. It happened against or I would say, outside the scope of the intention of the source. Richard, was it always a possibility that it could happen? Cobra. Yes and this cosmic cycle is simply a focus, a focal point in space-time continuum when that anomaly can be transformed. Great, thank you, Lynn. In August interview it was said that the leader of the Archons was arrested, turned to the light, then volunteered to be disintegrated in the galactic central sun, and his wish was granted. Can any entity apply if you will, to be disintegrated? Cobra, yes. That wish can be granted if there is a higher purpose for that. Lynn, if there's higher purpose. Okay, Lynn, so, if you will be disintegrated in the galactic central sun and choose, out of free will not to exist any longer, who decides to grant the entity's wish and upon what is it based? Cobra, okay, I would say it is very, or extremely unlikely for any of the light beings to have that wish because after that they will be liberated from the conditions on the surface of the planet. They will want to exist. They will want to continue to exist. They will not have that wish anymore. For those of the other side who will begin to realize what they have done might have that wish and in most cases it will be granted. That makes sense to me. Thank you, Richard, Cobra. How are beings with evil intentions able to be fourth dimensional or higher? Cobra, fourth dimension is still not beyond duality and of course those beings can be fourth dimensional. There is no reason why they should not be. Thank you, Richard. What level do evil intention beings stop at? Fifth dimension? Cobra, fourth dimension, higher fourth dimension is the highest they can go. Thank you very much, Lynn. Those cabal members that go to the central sun, what form of life will they take when they begin their new evolutionary process? Cobra, they will begin their new evolutionary process very simple elemental forms of life, like they will need to start the whole cycle again, from scratch. Thank you, Richard, what would you describe as a very simple elemental form of life? Like a rock? Cobra, even simpler than that. Thank you very much, Richard. So the next questions are about ascension. Will there be only few of us who survive the 5D ascension process on Earth? What will happen to the ones that do not? Cobra, the ascension process is not something you do survive or don't. It is something that transforms you. 
Richard, will everyone be transformed? Cobra, everyone will be transformed, one way or another, but not everyone will ascend. Richard, what happens to others that do not ascend? Will they leave to other planets, will they be creators of other universes? What happens to them? Cobra, ultimately when the whole process is over, a long time after the event, people who do not ascend they will be taken to different parts of the galaxy where they will continue their evolution. Richard, what happens to lower dimensions when the ascension process happens? Cobra, they will be transformed. Transformed, thank you, Lynn. If we all become peaceful, loving species on Earth, will we be defenseless against other aliens who try to invade us from other planets? Cobra, nobody will try to invade this planet anymore because it will be the end of darkness. Great, thank you, and even though we'll be a peaceful society we'll know how to defend ourselves if there is a need and of course there will not be a need. Thank you, Richard, Cobra. Are we going to know the past lives of ourselves and all the Ascended Masters after the event? Cobra, yes we will know our past lives and when necessary we will know about the past lives of the Ascended Masters. Richard, is the information Ascended Masters that are being told now about past lives really true stuff or not? Cobra, mostly not, but there are some parts of it that are true. Thank you, the method of collecting Cobra questions is changing. From this day forward I will not accept any questions coming to me by any method other than being placed on the website, http colon slash slash prepareforchange.net slash cobra questions. We are getting far more questions than we can possibly ask in a one hour interview. I ask that you limit your questions to only one or two per week. Please be respectful of other people. We will ask as many Cobra questions as Cobra questions will answer in the hour allotted. It is best to ask your questions early in the month because at some point we have to cut off the questions and start compiling what we have. The interviews are usually conducted in the latter days of the month, except for this month. So there's always exceptions. I appreciate your cooperation, Richard. This is about stargates and portals. Cobra. What is the difference between a stargate and a jump room? Cobra, okay. A stargate can be a natural portal which transfers you to another location though higher dimension. A jump room is simply a technological portal which was created between access and entry points. Richard, so the jump room would go from one point to another and the stargate you would be able to go wherever you want to go from that points? Cobra, basically this is one part of the definition, yes. Thank you, Lynn, Cobra, this person is asking you to please comment on the mystery of the Orion Nebula. They want to know is it a gateway or doorway to God or higher dimensions? Cobra, actually the central part of Orion, the Orion Nebula and the three stars in Orion Belt is a very high doorway into 8th dimension and beyond. Thank you, Lynn, what is your take on the Orion Nebula Cobra? Is there anything else you want to tell us? Cobra, this is the basic information. It is a stargate beyond the 8th dimension and out of this sector of the galaxy toward the galactic center and beyond. Wow, thank you, Richard, Cobra, this section is about light forces. Is the concept, existence of self a mystery even to most advanced beings in the cosmos? Cobra, number, Richard, so everyone is pretty much aware of the higher self? Cobra, yes. Thank you. It's an aberration and anomaly not to be aware of your higher self and this happens in this unliberated solar system at this point. Lynn, Cobra, did there once exist a defense grid throughout the solar system and beyond? Cobra, it did exist and it still exists and it's actually being remodeled and renewed. Thank you, Richard, Cobra, what are real identities of Confucius and Lao Tzu? Cobra. They are now ascended masters at this point and they are working especially with the Chinese population especially with the most awakened part of the Chinese population in assisting in the planetary liberation process. Thank you, Lin, Elon Musk of the Tesla car fame and SpaceX seems to be playing both sides of the light, dark issue. What side is he really on Cobra? Cobra, he's working for the light forces. 
He has been inspired at a certain point in his past by the Pleiadians and given a vision to put humanity on Mars and its part of the greater plan for the planetary liberation. That sounds great, thank you, Lynn. Sakmet maintains her formness of lioness or she is depicted just on Earth as half woman and half cat? Is she helping on Earth towards our ascension directly or indirectly Cobra? Cobra, she is working very directly in certain specific situations especially when certain boundaries need to be put towards the dark forces and she is channeling very strong light from the Sirius star system towards this solar system and is part of the galactic forces of light at this point. Thank you, Richard, Cobra, what are the most common forms of exercise when it comes to the Pleiadians? Do they exercise as we do here on Earth? Cobra, not in the same way. They like movement but they don't have formalized exercise as we have it now on this planet. Richard, so it would be something like yoga, or that the of exercise. Cobra, not even yoga, but more like a flow of spontaneous movement and dance. Okay. Lynn, is Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi an important member of the Light and could you tell us what his role is? Cobra, I would say that he is, to a certain degree he is cooperating with the Light Forces and is an important person in the Brooks Movement and part of the Eastern Alliance. Thank you, Richard, are there positive E. T's that consume aspects of human cultures? Food, music, dance styles, etc.? Cobra. I would say that there are positive E. D. S. that like certain aspects of human culture, but I would not say that this is a major aspect of their culture. Thank you, Lynn. Do you think that the Pleiadians will want to travel to Earth after the quarantine is lifted? Cobra, gradually, yes. When humanity begins to raise their consciousness, they will like to travel to Earth more and more. Richard, Cobra. Has the positive military terminated Cabal leaders and henchmen? Cobra, number, Lynn, there's a show called Mr. Robot, you said and you talked about the fact that the RM had infiltrated this show. And this person is just wanting more information in that regard. Cobra, basically the RM had some agents in Hollywood and they had infiltrated some ideas in those movies. One of them is Avatar, the second one is The Matrix, Alish movies of that kind they have the RM has released some intel through those movies. Thank you. Richard, Cobra, will there be a movie that shows the cosmic history from when the quantum anomaly happened up or even just 26,000 years ago until now from the perspective of the light forces? Cobra, yes, there is a plan for such a movie after the event. Great, thank you, Lynn, Corey Good said that disclosure of low-level military intelligence agency SSP that operates in low earth orbit is underway. Is the flying Dorito UFO appearing again over Reckon Hill in England a low earth SSP craft? Cobra, no. Okay, Lynn, I have some questions about dark forces. According to your biochip update it is assumed that the biochips can send out audio, video stream to Chimera's computer. There's three questions related to this. One Chimera has known all of the developments of positive military on the surface. Two Chimera has known all the strategies of Eastern Alliance and other surface positive groups. Three Chimera has known all the identities, address of the awakened surface population, has known all of the public and private information of those 144,000 people, especially the most awakened ones which means they can send agents to assassinate the light worker and light warriors if necessary. Cobra, we need to go step by step here. The Chimera does have all that but they cannot act because the light forces of a higher nature are stopping them in their actions. Lin, okay. And this person just says, how can we win this war if we are known and they are not, so we are getting help. Cobra, yes. The surface population and all the positive military alone cannot win that war, and this is why the mass arrest did not happen in 2012. Higher light forces like RM, Pleiadians and Galactic Force of Light are assisting in the removal of the Chimera group and then the ground forces such as positive military and the Eastern Alliance will be extremely effective and successful in their operations. When their time will come at that point. Lynn. 
Is there anything we can do to secure our privacy from the Chimera? Cobra, yes, they cannot read your private thoughts. Well that's good. Thank you, Richard. Does calling in protection from the angels or from the higher dimensions help with this also? Cobra, yes, thank you, Richard. Cobra, if reptilians are fourth dimensional beings, then why do the need to create negative events to massively lower vibrations in order to open portals to interact on the current human earth plane? Cobra, because they need negative energy which is in resonance with their own energy fields to travel through those portals. Great, thank you, Lynn, can you talk about shadow people Cobra? Cobra, what some people determine as shadow people are basically plasma beings of a negative nature. Lynn, who are the physical chimera? How would we recognize them? Cobra, you would not be able to recognize them. They are in their physical bodies and they are mostly located in positions within military and intelligence agencies at this point. Those of them who are on the surface. Richard, Cobra, how do positive E. T's manage stress and prevent themselves from negative emotions. Cobra, they are simply creating beautiful positive environment for themselves and stress simply does not happen except in their interaction with liberation process in solar system and then they counteract that stress by spending a fair amount of time in positive environment too. Remove the stress and then interact with this quarantine environment again. Gotcha, thank you, Lynn, Cobra. Is Nirmal Baba a part of the Illuminati? Cobra, no. Thank you, Lynn, Cobra, I want to thank you for being with us today and spending this time and giving such great answers and we look forward to our next visit with you. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the audience? Cobra, yes, I would say everybody just to keep calm. Do not focus so much on this drama which is happening in the media but focus more on your individual and spiritual growth. Whatever you can do for the planetary liberation, spread information and we are getting closer and closer day by day. I know this is all taking too long but we will be victorious. Thank you so much, agreed, Lynn, thank you so much Cobra. In closing I would like to thank the whole team that has made this interview possible. Cobra for being a gracious guest. His website is http colon slash slash twenty twelve portal dot blogspot dot com slash Richard, my interview partner, Dov for our theme song, Voices of the World, Danell for her transcription expertise, Cobra Questions Team, Megan, Miranda, Sean and Robert for their organizational help, Aaron on sound, Untwine for modulation and editing, Eduardo and Dane behind the scenes, and all our wonderful listeners. And remember always that. We are all voices of the world. <laughs>